How is everyone doing? Welcome to a new video. Today I thought I would share with you the story of the first time that I ever took my drone out and what happened on that first flight. So before I start, a little bit of a disclaimer. Yes, it was wet. Yes, it is windy. And yes, I am an idiot. So, off I go. Enthusiastic and determined as ever, blissfully ignoring the multiple signs that I should not fly my drone today, I decided to distract myself by filming some birds along the way, thinking this will go great in my first drone video. What? I, why? I look back at this clip and I just wonder what on earth I was actually doing. Feeling content with the happiness of the birds and the fact that I'd lost the feeling in my fingers because I'd stood there filming the birds for the past 15 minutes. I decided to press on, head towards the waterfall and just get the drone out and see what I could do. Oh yeah, and in this clip I decided to film myself going both ways. I didn't think I'd ever use that shot but here we are. Fed up of walking backwards and forwards, I decided to beeline it straight for the waterfall and make my way down the steep stairs that were just off to my right hand side of this shot that you're looking at right now. Yes, this waterfall is very fierce today. Again, echoing why I shouldn't fly my drone, especially not close to the waterfall. But no, listen. Do I not? So here I come, just to the left of this shot, walking down the stairs, flying my drone for some reason. I have no idea why I didn't just get it out the bottom, but whatever, I guess that's what I decided to do. Uh, I make my way over to where the, this point of view you are looking at it is my GoPro is resting on a bridge. I make my way over to my GoPro and I, do, and I stand adjacent to it and you're about to see the view of the drone. So I'm just going to let this play out and then I guess try and explain what on earth was going through my head. So enjoy. <laughs> Luckily for me though, the drone doesn't record audio, so not one single profanity was heard leaving my mouth that day. Although the birds might disagree. So before this video gets too long, resulting in everyone leaving early, impacting negatively on my view retention so no one ever sees this video, let's discuss what went wrong. So at the top of the ravine, before I came down the stairs, I had full GPS lock, but by the time I made it to the bottom of the stairs, the drone had gone into what is called aggressive flight mode, which is essentially fully manual flying in a tiny 249 gram drone. So the very slightest wind pushes it in a direction and the drone will continue to go in that direction. Wind wasn't too much of a problem surprisingly, but the force of the waterfall generated wind higher up than I was, which I didn't actually realise at the time. That's when you can see the moment where the trees appear in the lens, and then from that point forward... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. It hit a branch, it got caught, I thought, Oh god, I've got a second. I can climb up there and get it. That second felt like a long time. Clearly it's not a long time, because it instantly falls off the branch straight away. And it comes tumbling down the right hand side of the bridge and ends up resting right before the whitewash below the bridge, which I still don't even understand how it managed to 
rest where it did, directly underneath there, about a foot away from the edge of the rock, and I climbed down to collect it. Surprisingly though, it hadn't actually broken, although I had cracked the front right leg, but it wasn't actually broken on that day. I managed to super glue it and it and it had done another 50 hours of flying after that. It was actually another event that broke the drone. But that's for another video. And um, we won't go into that now. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was uh, an interesting one to make. I, uh, I'm glad I kept that footage. I did contemplate deleting it for it never to see the surface ever again. But here we are. We learned from our mistakes. You're just watching some footage of a previous video that I filmed in last summer, I think it was, at uh, Ullswater. If you want to see that video, it's on my channel. Um, be sure to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it, um, and comment if you've got any drone crash stories, or if you are new to this channel from this video, please let me know down below, because I really enjoy finding out where you're all from, and where the channel is picking up new viewers from. Happy New Year to everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.